I'm Elizabeth Holmes. I'm the founder and CEO of Theranos. Our work is in being able to realize a healthcare paradigm around early detection, prevention, and consumer empowerment, and in making it possible to do laboratory testing in a highly accessible way, which means tiny samples instead of big tubes of blood from your arm and incredibly low prices. Our belief is that every person, no matter where they live or how much money they have, has the basic human right to access to their own health information. And so our, our mission, our dream is to make it possible, not just in this country, but globally, for people everywhere to begin to have access to this information so that they can use it to live their best lives and to catch the onset of disease in time to do something about it. I think the opportunity to um, try to connect with especially women and young girls in developing economies around what only because of this country I've been able to do, which is as a young girl start a business, drop out of school and, and try to make a difference in the world um, is both something that, that I feel a great obligation to do and, and something that I, I want very much to do because I've been able to, to benefit from it. In the same way as I've always seen technology as a tool for being able to realize policy changes, there's, there's the opportunity to use a vehicle like this to be able to engage with, I mean, for example, the women and girls and, and show it's possible. Right? And I've always thought about it sort of as the four minute mile where once one person does it, everybody else does too. Right? And that's something that is so important, especially in these areas where we need people to know that they can stand up. Thank you, Cindy, for having me here in Condé Nast. I, I am so incredibly humbled and so honored to be with this incredible group of women. I want to just take a minute to say, especially to the young women in the room here, do everything you can to be the best in science and math and engineering. It's our actions that will determine this new stereotype around women being the best in science and technology and engineering, and it's that that our little girls will see when they start to think about who do they want to be when they grow up.